When it comes to our coverage of the Federal Reserve, you've heard a lot of references to the dot plot. So what do all those little dots mean exactly to explain? We welcome in Julie Hyman, who plots dots just for kicks. Sure. <laughs> and you were doing that the second we saw them out. So we look forward to your explanation. Yes, I have pl been plotting the dots. This is the current uh, Fed dot plot. This is what they yeah. came out with today. They also call it the Summary of Economic Projections, and it includes other stuff like their GDP product projections as well as inflation projections. And all of it comes down to the so-called dot plot. All the dot plot is is the individual Fed members' projections of where interest rates will end up by a given point in time. So when we talk about, when we hear, for example, Jay Powell say in response to Jen Schomberger's question, we don't anticipate a Fed cut this year, an interest rate cut this year, this is where that comes from. So let me explain a little bit more here. Uh, so here's where the dots are for this uh, particular point in time for the end of 2023. Well, I'm not drawing, but there you go. You see where the plot, the dots are. Each dot represents a person. That's all the dots are. The dots are people. The dots are members of the Federal Open Market Committee. Some of them are currently voting members. Some of them are not currently voting members, but it's where all of them anticipate rates to end up. And none of them are anticipating a cut because this dot right here is where we are now. So it looks like one member is expecting that we will not see a further increase this year, but the majority of the dots, 10 of them, are clustered around the five to five and a quarter percent range there. And then we see a couple that are above that one that's even between five and three quarters to six percent by the end of 2023. This column here is 2023. And then you have 2024 and you see a lot more dispersion because it's further in the future and therefore more difficult to predict. And there's even difficulty in predicting what the Fed is going to do at the next meeting, let alone what they're going to be doing in 2024 or 2025 or in the longer run. But this is their best guess. And you even see a dot right at around three and a half to three and three quarters percent here for uh, going into 2024. So a bigger dispersion. Then. So this is the Fed's projections. But like most projections, there's an element of guessing. We don't know if this is what the Fed will actually do because the Fed can't predict the future. And the Fed is, as Jay Powell likes to remind us, data dependent. They're watching those credit conditions very closely. So here's the current Fed uh, dot plot. I do want to see where it was in December because there is a little bit of a change here. You've previously had two dots that were closer to the 6% level. So we've come down a little bit. Still, though, the majority of the dots are not changed, clustered around five to five and a quarter percent. So in that sense, where the Fed perceives its so-called terminal rate, where they're going to end this hiking cycle, that has not significantly changed between December and now, even though a lot has happened in between, including some persistent inflation figures and, of course, the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and others and the tightening of credit conditions. So that's all the dot plot is.